The craft beers, you never know. Never know with the craft beer pop. What? Your wife just came back from the store with these, so they could have been rolling around in the trunk. Mm. Look at you over there, just pouring out of a bottle, filling up your cup. My cup doesn't run Runneth over. over. <laughs> All right. What is good? There, I got that out of the way. Yeah. We're back. We're hitting you with a quick hitter here. Um, Cam Akers. Wanted to hit a little Cam Akers before a possible return of the playoffs here. Um, came off IR. Been back at practice, resuming practice. Um, and probably going to get rolling in the playoffs here at some point. So, Which is incredible. It, it, that in itself should be commended. That is incredible. Right. Um, Shout out to you, Cam, for coming off an Achilles. Maybe don't bring him back this year. Yeah. Just going to throw that out there. Fine if they didn't. But I'm thinking maybe this might be your last itch ish time to maybe go try to acquire your last chip of, of cam makers here. Cause he was probably heading on his way to being a first round pick in dynasty startup drafts last year um, until he got hurt. And now we've seen this a time and time again, a guy like this who has this much um, love uh, and, and Adoration. equity and people are just ready to, He's just one of those guys who people are ready to throw up at the top. He was already there. People love him. The they, analytical they, they want him. community loves this dude. Everybody loves him. A lot of love out there for Cam Akers. He's he's he was he's been thrust up there, and if he comes back and plays in these standalone games, you'll see it after Thursday night or Monday night or Sunday night games. Those players, and then that the media is going to talk about then for the week, seem to be the players that just you know rise and fall every week because of the you know how well they played and and who's talking about them and cam makers if he'll be talked about because he's coming back from the ac or the uh, achilles and then if he does anything at all he doesn't have to have a good game and his stock is going to go up just by seeing him on the field in, in that rams uniform and then if he does anything at all in this game if god forbid he breaks one off that shit is going sky high um, so right now he's running back 22, according to uh, DLF's latest ADP, uh, 58th overall. Um, and that's below guys like James Robinson. Obviously, that's going to change. Uh, Amari Cooper, Brandon Ayuk, Rashad Bateman, Marquise Brown, uh, Mike Evans, Pittman, Montgomery, Jerry Judy, uh, Claypool, Nuke. Uh, and if he goes up, he's going to be way past. He's going to skyrocket yeah. past those guys and not look back uh, and, unless he has another bad injury. Um, not to say we're the hugest Cam Akers podcast in the world, um, but I do. I, I like I just wasn't ready to throw him up as high as people were ready to throw him. I like the talent. I like the situation. So you're going to give me those two things combined. I'm in. Uh, I just wanted to see it again before I really jumped all in. But uh Tried to buy a couple pieces throughout the off season, uh, whether or not you were gonna, or in season really. Uh, tried to buy some some cam makers on a from, rebuilding on, team, right? On, on go, any rebuilding team, you try really, to go find a guy that's competing that had cam makers. Let me get him off your squad. Right. Give you a, a player who who is gonna produce. Right. Get a little discount. Uh, I like that logic, and and I like the logic here too. And, and you would be, and I think both of us would maybe be a little more apt to sell if 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 this if the if the stock goes back up to sky high first round ADP kind of stuff. Both of us would want to flip that for a profit. I'd be okay with rolling him into the next season. Seems like maybe you would probably get out almost no matter what yeah i don't even know if i would really be trying to go acquire cam makers because i just i don't know i'm not the biggest can cam makers fan uh, i've always really liked daryl henderson i've found a bunch of pff stats from 2020 that would back up my uh, uh argument here but he was splitting time with with daryl henderson daryl henderson had less attempts but averaged more yards um and to me looked like at least the same Caliber. As good of a player yeah. as Cam, if not better. And so and neither of them can stay healthy, and, and they probably shouldn't be bringing him back this soon. But I cannot argue with your logic at all about the fact that his right. value is going to Buy low, here. sell high. Simple economics. Right. So, so I would be wanting to cash out after the value spike because that's just my personal feelings on Cam Akers. But – uh, he he can be an electric dude. We haven't seen him get really loose. He does have a couple of long runs, like sixty-one yards, forty-five yards, I believe, um, and he uh, forty-six yards, and that's about it. You know, when it, whereas in college there were a lot of explosive electricity type runs in the middle of like a ton of just terrible Florida State, yeah, terrible offensive they were line, just, just bad in general. And, and, and he but. he and he would he would 
initiate contact and and, and and that play style maybe it's a little Debo like where it's like maybe he's oh. bringing some of this upon himself with these injuries but Achilles is a little bit freaky you can't really I'm not trying to blame him for that but like I don't know I just I would be trying to I'd be trying to cash out on the the value flip and I, I do think you're 100 percent right I think a week two weeks from now three weeks from now whenever he comes back and if he shows anything like you said the value's going up so I totally understand where you're coming from right so again it's it's you got a standalone game it, it, gonna be the playoffs you got a good situation uh you have a, a pretty good talent and the public loves him so this is this is just something whether you didn't like him or not i think it's it could be a good potential flip uh right here for for so a little profit you can make trades right makers. now in dynasty the season's over so now it's like the off season already i, I would i would assume so trade maybe, deadline maybe, is maybe a week has a, maybe maybe a league has a one week or two week off period or whatever, but I don't understand why you wouldn't be Does able to FFPC make a trade. Does FFPC have that? Can you trade an FFPC right now? Uh, I don't know. You don't not know? Sure. First Actually. all day. Yeah, I mean, I'm right? just... Would you yeah, get for first sure, all day? Yeah, for sure. I mean, it's probably going to take a little bit more than that, but... First and a second? Um, get yeah, the three for back? Sure. For sure. Um, so, because I, 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 if, getting... if he goes back to where he's going... It, it, because I'm fine with kind of holding him if I can't if I, if I end up not being able to kind of recoup that right away and going into the season with him. But like if he goes into he'll be a three first round kind of guy if 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 he goes back three to first where round he picks. was about to be a first round startup season. pick right. takes like three first round picks three first round rookie picks to get a first round startup player type of guy. Yeah, generally. I mean, just that's just kind of like three firsts for the for the studs is where you start right a conversation right you know or a lot or of the equivalent times. to three right. firsts a player that's worth a first plus another for the two for firsts. those first round right. kind of caliber for the first guys. round startup guys right when, when you want to take that guy in the first round which that was why we was always out on acres because he was like a back into the first round kind right. of guy in startups and i was just like i'm gonna just wait and take henderson but right now if you can give me the discount and, and sell high, I'm in. So I just wanted to throw that out there before he comes back and and see, give you hopefully a little opportunity to make some money or get a guy that that you uh, that you liked. Because again, I know a lot of people like this guy. So, all right, well, a little quick hitter. Boom. Probably a little longer than we intended. Wish I would have had a good pop for the second pop of the new year. Yeah, if here, I was to rate that, that shit yeah. was like a point five. Yeah, we've had some clamoring <laughs> to bring back bring back the rate the pop. So yeah, maybe we got to bring back the rate the pops, and that was. I was piss Sub poor. One. I don't even know if that rates. Yeah, that's <laughs> yeah, definitely that's zero. NA. <laughs> yeah. All right, guys. We're going to do rookie prospects. We're going to be doing mocks as soon as we got enough rookie prospects to do. We're going to be bringing on guys around the industry to talk about said rookies. So be sure to go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Keep us locked in for all the content. Uh, we're going to be trying to be your one-stop shop, but you should you should shop other other places. I'm not going to be mad at you. Yeah, get, get, if, you, if you're just listening to people to get your opinion, gather some different ones, right. you know? Right. I'm down, but you'll, you'll be back here. If you have a track record <laughs> in your mind, if you're keeping track, you'll be back, baby. We appreciate y'all. Peace. <laughs>